Okay, so uh, I will start by uh, showing how to use uh, the config file, a configuration file for Parallel Analyzer to be able to provide both uh, compiler flags that are required for the analysis, such as uh, include the, include header directories, for instance, and also how to uh, instruct analyzer to analyze multiple files together. Um, we will also see how to use take advantage of uh, the CMake compile commands JSON database. Okay, we will use the a, a manual example for that. Then uh, we'll go through um, a couple of things with Trainer, which will be the how to export the different versions that we develop uh, during our experimentations with Trainer, and then see how we can group several loops together into a parallelization opportunity that can be parallelized uh, at once instead of having different parallel sections uh, for each one of the loops. Okay, so I will start with uh, Matmul and Analyzer to see how to use the how to use CMake and how to use the configuration file. So what I have here is a very simple code uh, with a main program, and a Matmul implementation and a header a header file that uh, has the declaration for the Matmul uh, functions. Okay, so let's take a look at the main file. Uh, very simple. We include the Matmul uh, declaration file, uh, the header file with the declaration. Sorry, uh, with the uh, declares the multiply function that it's called from this Matmul computation here, and then the main program just uh, initializes a couple of matrices and invokes the Matmul. So the key here is that the multiply function is defined elsewhere in not in the header file, which is simple the, sorry, the declaration of the function, which is this one, but in the manual source code file. This is actually the function that is being used, this multiply function. So uh, we should load the parallel analyze module and then we will analyze the main file, which is calling uh, the, the multiply function defined elsewhere. So, uh, first thing we have failure. We, we see that no files could be analyzed, zero of one means that the main function could not be analyzed and nothing was found, of course, in the code. So, let's follow the recommendation straight away to get more details. And here we have the, the error, which is we don't have the header file that is being used in the main.c file. So uh, we follow this suggestion here, which is uh, what's for missing compiler flags. So uh, you have to use this syntax slash slash and then pass any header files that you require. So in this case, we need to add the include directory. So let's try again. And now the file was successfully analyzed, one file, but we can we are not getting anything from it. I mean, we could actually involve PW loops. Um, we will show which loops are there, but they are not analyzable. So we are getting no information from that. And that's because of the multiply function being defined elsewhere. This is a common problem in um, static code uh, analyzers, but you need to have access to all the source code. And when the source code is spread uh, between different files, then you need uh, some way to analyze them together. So in this case, we can use the configuration file of PW analyzer. So I will show you how to do that. And it's exactly like this. What we are defining here is that for the main.c file, it has a dependency with the matmul.c file Okay, and we also tell him that we need to add for all C files this include directory, which is exactly the same that we were doing before with this command, but through the configuration file. So let's try again to analyze the main function, but let's pass that configuration file. So no errors again because we have the include directory in this setting here in the configuration file. But also now we can see a lot of stuff here. So we are able to analyze functions and three of the four loops that they are there because we have access to the matmul file. We ask for the main.c and through the dependency it is analyzing both the main.c and the matmul.c file. 
Okay, so now we can get, uh, sorry, we can get information with PW loops into which loops uh, are there and what parallelizations we could do. So we have a sparse reduction there on the MATMO uh, code. It's an opportunity and we could actually parallelize it using PW directives. Okay, so uh, that's one way to specify um, both the dependencies when we have uh, multiple files that have to be analyzed together and how to specify uh, compiler flags such as uh, header directories that are required for analysis, either through the configuration file in this case or using like we did before the uh, slash slash the command line. Okay, so uh, that covers uh, those two things. And now I want uh, also to show you how to uh, integrate with CMake. So uh, we create a new directory here and we have a CMake list file, very simple one which is the same thing. It's declaring uh, the header directory include and the two files that compose the MathMoon binary. So I just created the directory. I can go CMake that project. And uh, I don't need to build it. This flag over here is telling me that it should support the compile commands database that uh, CMake creates internally, which contains the compile commands that actually CMake will invoke when building. So we won't build now, but we want to use this information that CMake uh, gathers. Particularly, what we want to use in this case is this include uh, directory. So we don't have to look for these flags. We can reuse the flags that uh, build systems such as CMake uh, returns for us. So I will now change configuration and I will add sorry again some size actually here specify a new field which is the location of a compile commands file which is commands JSON if I haven't misspelled okay so now what we have again is we still have the dependency for main but we don't uh, have any other entry let me not valid JSON get rid of the so, uh, we still have the dependency, so we can see the body or the definition of the multiply function, uh, but we don't need to specify the headers. We will reuse the database from CMake for that. So in this case, I have to do this again. So same thing, no failures because through the compile commands JSON uh, database file that CMake created, it is reusing the information from CMake to determine where to look for headers, in this case, the, in the include directory. And also it is using this information here for the dependencies and it sees the same information as before. So if we were to remove now the uh, compile commands database part, we will get again the, the error we will get there now because we don't have that information information available. Okay. So Manuel, any remarks that you want to to do about this part? Well, I think it's a clear example, very simple, of how support for CMake database with flags and joint analysis of functions spread across multiple files in big projects can be managed through these two advanced features. So on my side, I think it's, it's great. 